Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Mamie Laverock closed her GoFundMe and thanked her fans for their outpouring of support two months after a shocking five-floor fall that left her on life support. The 20-year-old actress, who is best known for When Calls the Heart, suffered an undisclosed medical emergency on May 11th and was hospitalized. Two weeks later, she was escorted out of a secure unit of the hospital and taken up to a balcony walkway from which she fell five stories, according to a post on her GoFundMe. Her mother has publicly stated the incident not was a suicide attempt. Donations poured in from her admirers, and her page on the crowdfunding platform raised $39,022 Canadian, which converts to $28,333.27 American. Thank you so much, Mamie wrote on GoFundMe this week before shutting down her page. I don't even know what to say. My heart is full. Thank you again. I have no words to describe my gratitude. Love you guys. Thank you. Mamie. Her mother Nicole Rockman gave an update on social media late last month about Mamie's condition following her near-fatal fall. Thank you for your healing messages for Mamie, the anxious mom wrote on Facebook. Mamie survived her injuries, however her road to recovery will be long. I will be setting up a mailbox for all of your cards and well wishes shortly. Warmth, Nicole. Thank you for the update. You all are in our thoughts and prayers, wrote one fan. Praying for healing sweet Mamie. What a gift you are to so many folks all over the world. God has a plan for you dear one. God bless you all as you continue to heal a red heart. I check daily also thank you for the updates Mamie is my thoughts and prayers daily from one of her Hirtai family, said another. Thank you so much for the update. I would love to have an address. Continued blessings on her recovery and prayers for all of you, who seem to look forward to sending personal good wishes to the young star. The young actress, who played Rosaline Sullivan on the popular Hallmark Channel series, had been receiving treatment on a secure unit at a hospital after suffering a medical emergency May 11th. On May 26th she suffered life-threatening injuries after falling from a fifth-floor balcony walkway located in the hospital. When her family reported the incident, Rockman wrote the actress had undergone multiple extensive surgeries and is currently on life support. She revealed in an article with the Los Angeles Times that the young actress, who played a nursing student on When Calls the Heart, had been transferred to a trauma center and was no longer at St. Paul's Hospital, where the accident occurred. This is an absolute miracle and there will be accountability, she told the outlet. We have a case. All we care about is that Mamie can make a recovery and that she's alive and that she's fighting and that she's strong. It's unbelievable that she's with us. Her mother said the fall was not intended and was not a suicide attempt. A spokesperson for the hospital, which is operated by Providence Healthcare, told the paper, in cases related to patient safety, an internal critical incident review is conducted to determine exactly what happened and to make recommendations for improved patient safety. Our hearts go out to the patient, family, and all affected by this event, and we offer our best wishes for a full recovery. So far fans have donated nearly $40,000 Canadian dollars to offset costs related to Lave Rock's recovery. Earlier this month, Lave Rock's family released a photo of the young star holding a small teddy bear as she lay in a hospital bed. Her hand was hooked up to and four. The family had earlier shared some flashback Friday photos from vacation and some other family snaps. She is recovering slowly. She is on the mend, actress Erin Krakow told Entertainment Tonight earlier this month. I've been in touch with her parents and it's a really tough time for the family right now. They have sent their immense gratitude to Etha, when calls the heart community for all their support. She's special and she's resilient, Krakow said, adding that she hadn't spoken with her co-star personally, but had conversed with her parents.